welcome, Neil S here from Tykes TV. Hope we're all well. Not the result that we hoped for or what we wanted, but we're just as soon as down and more we on. But yeah, a few talking points, then I'll get through to player ratings like uh, what I normally do. Always great to have your feedback as well. So yeah, unbelievable warm day for uh, players, fans all concerned on both sides, to be fair. Um, first half, it was one of them with some errors, basic errors, you know, lead up to goal again, I'll get to player ratings in a minute, some contentious decisions, um, for the 1-1 one, one Luke Thomas, that looked to, that looked a red card, he even stood on, on his knee, that looked a red card, and to be fair, I think we should have had a, a penalty, because it was no way without a free kicking box yet, Fair player, hand up ball and ref blew up. And we'll get to ref in a minute. Uh, about Luke Thomas not going for pitch and stuff. So there's a fair bit to talk about. I think first half, it was one of them where we went 2 0 down. Second half, it got readdressed at half time. And you could tell that because I thought in second half, we deserved to get some art at game, uh, if I'm being honest. First half, it was just like bit, you know, basics again. Uh, you know, conceding from a set piece, uh, goalkeeper Brad. Again, we'll get to ratings, and then it was more or less like a mirror image against Plymouth, where it was dark flank again, cut inside, and we scored. So, again, we'll get to player ratings, and then we'll have a, a recap on stuff. So, here we go. <clears throat> so, yeah, player ratings uh, against Derby County. Again, Brad Collins, we'll get to Brad. Uh, what an error for first goal, you know, it's we, we are all human. I think yesterday we were a, a game about goalkeepers, you know. Manuel Goalie, he come out and, you know, said, you know, more or less cost him three points, and yet uh, QPR goalkeeper, he ended up rescuing a point. So I think it, it was a day yesterday about goalkeepers and uh, what we did. For that, it's time to settle after that to be fair, in the second half. I don't think you really tested it, really bothered, because we as a, a team, then we were taking it to them. So, 6.1 for Brad. Again, people out there might think, you know, this is all my opinions, and it's all about opinions. And again, get involved in comments below what you, you know, think about my match and everything like that. But yeah, edit it first goal. After that, Brad, he, you know, just did what he had to do kind of thing. Settled, uh, second half, not really troubled. Uh, so we move on. Everyone's human. It's not a dig or out like that. It's just an actual what happened at an event, and you've got to get a rating. You've got to call it as it is. Jordan Williams, uh, six point two. It was getting forward, but when when you see it and when you watch it, it's like a lot of space. We're creating a lot of vacant space. We're getting creative behind. And second goal did come from that flank again from like Plymouth. I'm not like necessarily having a direct aimed at Jordan Williams, but you've got to, you know, the flanks. I see who's tracking back on them flanks as well. Uh, who's helping out and covering for spaces. But, yeah, uh, getting forward, trying to link up and get back, trying to link up with midfield and get things going. But on the space created behind, this is where they were exploiting it and trying to get in behind us. So 6.2 for Jordan. Mads Anderson, Captain Mads. I thought he looked better than last week. He looked more settled. He looked more more comfortable on ball. He was trying to drive forward. He was trying to get the things uh, going. And at set piece, he seemed to be taking control when we were getting corner. We, you know, it, was, it seemed to be putting us in danger area. So, again, I'd like to think that this thing's been worked on from the previous game and tried to take it on from there. But for me, I thought it looked more. I thought it looked more confident and more comfortable than uh, last week's game. If it makes sense, six point eight uh, for Mads from me. That's from me. Conor McCarthy. I mean, five point eight own goal. You know, deflection. He can't really doubt about that, can he? You know, he's trying to block or get his body in front of it. Uh, I didn't, I didn't think he looked as, as assured or as comfortable as last week. You know, I thought he got found wanting a bit. I know he got uh, substituted by Kundi 
84th, 85th minute. So again, I don't think it was one of his better games. You know, we're going to have blips. You're not going to have, you know, worlders every week. You're going to have odd, poor game kind of thing. But up against Derby County, a good test, not just for uh, Connor, but for all players concerned, you know, up against Derby County, dare I say it, what's got uh, established players kind of thing. We've been very done that. So again, it's it's not a not a bad digger out on like that. It's just at the end of the day, he didn't have one of his best in my opinion, he didn't have one of his best games. But we move on to the next game, Bristol Rovers. See what we can do from there. But yeah, on goal deflection, you can't really you can't really doubt about that. Um it is just one of them, isn't it? And like I said, uh, Robbie Kundi came on. And I can't really give Kundi, you know, five, six minutes he were on pitch, but came on, did what he had to do, and other tried to uh, tweak it up a bit, didn't we? Uh, we were playing more direct. Kitchen, um, 6.5, I think is passing it first half. Well, a bit, it's a miss. You know, some simple balls, loose pass triggered build up for, for, for their second goal. To, um, you know, it was down left, it were a loose pass in midfield, and then they like switched it out to our right, their left, attack from down there, cut inside, and then we'll get on to other players uh, involved. What could have done better, I thought, could have done better as well, because um, it was like Kitchen and Styles down left, went to miss, and then it was knock on from that. For me, in second half, he and I think this is a lot of players as well. I think they had a rocket in uh, half time team talk and they came out and we took it game to them. So in second half, it looked better, it looked more, um, more com- confident. I think more confident in his in his gameplay. Uh, so for me, six point five, not as good as game as last week. Um, and like I said, passing and stuff, and again conditions. You know, appreciate conditions. It was mass, mass warm. So for me, Liam Kitchen, uh, six point five. Callum Styles. For me, left wing back, um, and it's it stayed there. You know, following on from the the previous game, and it looked better at times. Looked a threat going down left, tracking back. And this is where I'm coming back to Liam Kitchen is that when the pass went woeful and they, 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 they took it on flank and crossing, when you look at tracking back from Callum for the, for, you know, for a second goal that they scored, it was just like a mirror carbon copy of Plymouth game. It was too little, too late and damage were done. Again, I appreciate that it was, you know, stupid, stupid weather conditions we might eat. But if you know ball goes, it's ball retention. You've got to you've got to try and get back. Uh, work rate again. You've got to put the effort in. Uh, second half did up it a bit, but that tracking back when ball you know when ball gets lost and you've got to track back, you've got to make it to come back. So six point five uh, for Callum. I need to say any more, Josh Benson. Great work rate, fantastic work rate. Confidence showing now, it's oozing, uh, following on from the Middlesbrough game. And a well-deserved goal. Um, for me, my man at match, still got some other players come to, but for me, he's my man at match, 8.5. Great work rate, confidence, wanting ball, wanting to drive forward. Uh, I, I just think uh, it's, it's clicked now, I think. It's working where Duff's getting the best start on him. And it's great to see um, and the midfield as well, all playing and linking up. So for me, Josh Benson, well done, uh, 8.5. Just missing out, uh, Thomas, Luke Thomas. Again, another another decent, solid performance. Looking settled, linking up well. And that tackle, receipt, oh, I thought it were a red. I thought it were red. It, it did look. I mean, when when I, when I saw it, and they were going about in agony, I thought, no way. 
this is and then when you what even watch it back on replays and highlights on TV, it's knee high, it's studs of here. It's like for me, I were expecting a red. I really were expecting a red. And when it were a yellow, I went, wow. Uh, and for what 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 followed on from it was a bit weird, but I'll just get back to Luke in a minute. Good understanding of showing football as well. <clears throat> so I think confident player, and happy player, wanting the ball. Receiving ball, uh, just speaks volumes that last year, not Luke, but other players as well were shying away from it. This time round, they just want ball, give me ball, I want I want to take it on. What will be for me about this, I don't know what your guys think about it, and we'll probably touch on it at the end of uh, player ratings, is that when Luke Thomas got injury, he didn't go off. He kept on pitch, right? Which I thought, wow, that's that's... Bizarre, is it a new directive? What's come from governing bodies? But then later on in the second half, I think it had be counterpart and he had to go off. So I'll get to that in a minute about time waste and stuff like that. So we'll get to that in a minute. So yeah, uh, for me, Luke Thomas, uh, another established, well, well, uh, another, another, another good game. And I hope there's many more to come from him. Uh, confidence and um, seeing ability what he can do. Luke O'Connell, he looked busy, wanting the ball. He was dropping deep, trying to get things going. Um, 7.0, it was, I think it was harder for him, obviously, when you look at their midfield, what they had, um, trying to do a job. We could see that on tackle what they did on Thomas, trying to do a job on uh, Luke O'Connell. And over uh, in, in, uh, in first half, kitchen, you know, Took one of their players out, kind of thing, and a bit of a, of, of a scuffle broke out with Collins from Derby. But we're great to see what I liked as well. Is that Luke O'Connell came down and he got stuck in and all, uh, so helping teammates out. So, um, I'd gear like a 9.5 just for that, mate. Uh, but no, that's for that's for team spirit, that's the the fate that you're wanting, you know, in the team as you, you, you know. Unity in it, and that's what you want to see. But yeah, uh, Luke Connell came, uh, Clark Adore came on because tried tweaking up a bit. Can't really get uh, Clark Adore a, a rating for uh, time that he were on pitch. But I know he tried, uh, Clark Adore went on left and moved Styles into midfield uh, just for a bit of probably extra threat, stuff like that. He didn't pay off, unfortunately, but not through one to lack of trying. So, Luke Connell, 7.0. Norwood. Uffed and puffed and blew the, tried to blow the house down with Norwood. Um, for me, he seemed to struggle a bit. I don't know if it was eat or whether it's fitness. I know there's been a lot with fitness, but he put his sending monster fence. He, you know, he got, he got up and amongst it. You know, he didn't shy out at all. Were he any real threat towards goal? I, I don't know, but it, it was more hustle and bustle, uh, upset and ruffle feathers in in, uh, in defence, which is great, but it's the goal threat we need as well. Um, again, you can't work his, knock his work rate. I can't knock any lads' work rate, to be fair. And, and eat a bit more done yesterday. I'm sure yesterday with weather. Can't knock anybody's uh, work rate. I'm, not look for this in fruit lack of trying, no way. Um, you know, we all we all play the part in that. But for me, I think he's had to struggle. I know um Cole came on for him, and I'm getting Cole a six um for effort. Because when he did come on, I think he tried running, he tried, you know, he's a try, he's a trier. Um he tried putting us in the bar, didn't he? He got asked what he were required to do, and that's what he can ask to do. It'd been great, you know, like again, it's that elusive goal in it, just to see what happens and see if you can trigger out off for. But no, would 6.1 for me. Aitchison, again, you work rate, I can't knock his work rate, I really can't. Closing down, constant movement, trying to create spaces. But, and this is a but now, chance, should it have been put away? I don't know, in previous games, he's had chances before. And I know, you know, if you don't buy a ticket, 
you've got to be in it to win it kind of thing. But again, another chance is gone. If the lad will come on for a maiden marsh and give him six points because I thought he were a threat. I'm thinking if it had fell to him, would he have put it away? Kind of thing, if you know what I mean. I don't know. I'm just guessing, but I'm not knocking Aitchison uh, for his work rate or all like that. But the chances that are coming, they need converting. And ultimately, if we don't convert his chances, we're not going to score goals. We're not going to win many games. For me, Aidan Marsh, um, a couple of times now I've been coming off at bench and every time he's come off, he's looked alive, why he's looked a damn full. I'd like, and this is my opinion, this is my opinion, what my take on it. I'd like him to start against Bristol Rovers on Tuesday, uh, is it Tuesday, Wednesday night, sorry. I'd like him to start. Whether it's going to happen or not, I don't know. And again, it's not through a reflection of Aitchison's, you know, if he's been poor out, it's just for the conversions, and he, you know, the chance of being created needs converting and putting away. So, yeah, that's that's my tech on player ratings. <clears throat> um, like I say, you might agree, you might disagree. It's all about opinions at the end of the day. And um, yeah, it's all about opinions at the end of the day. I'm just trying to find out uh, this one. So, David County versus Bounds, your man at match, let us know. I'm just going back to this one as well, Luke Thomas. When he got the challenge on him, I don't know how y'all guys think about this. It's on about like time wasting directive. It's supposed to be clamping down on it and um, referees getting, you know, for bookings and stuff like that. So for me, it was refreshing to see that when a player got an injury like Thomas, he carried on. He didn't have to jog off at pitch, wait to come back on, which ultimately is wasting time, if you know what I mean. I think the only time that you should have to go off at pitch is is if you've got like a concussion or if it's been like a, a clash of heads or a, a nasty gash or, if, you know, blood and that, then you should go off at pitch. Because what gets me is that you see some of the players, and it's across the spectrum this, it's not just like to League One or Premier League, it's across, across the board, international and everything, is that when you see a player go down, and we all know it, we've all seen it, they'll jog off and walk off of, off at pitch, you know, slowing it down, slowing it down, slowing it down. But as soon as they go off the touchline, they want to come straight back on. They want to run back on. So it's like, well, hold on a minute. You, you were like walking, strolling off. Then all of a sudden, they're like complaining, I want to get back on pitch. I don't know. It just seems weird for me. I don't I don't like it. We, uh, For me, I'd, I'd rather, if, if a player went down and, you know, it were a knock or all like that, get the old magic sponge out, you know, get the assessment done and everything like that. And then, you know, free kick and carry on. Because, yeah, that player can get treated, goes off at physio, player's still held up, while player gets off at pitch, strolling off, waiting and waiting waiting. And then player goes, you know, restarts again, then players want to come straight back on because we've got, you know, opposition's got a free kick or whatever. It just seems a bit weird. Uh, but again, that's another debate and let me know your thoughts on that. But yeah, just, so just wrapping this up, um, I think it was a game of two halves, if I'm, if I'm being honest. I think first half, we didn't really do us any favours. We didn't, you know, uh, Robert Green didn't go his way in certain instances, like with Luke Thomas. And then the second half, I thought we took it to him. We should have had a penalty uh, with the hand ball. Because if we know it were a free kick, yeah, you know, as soon as he handled it, ref blew. Uh, I think he made ref's mind up. If it had come away with 2 2, I think it'd have been a result. I think, you know, a deserve, deserved uh, result in conditions that uh, both sets of players played him. But yeah, we just sends down, we move on. Um, and move on to the next game, which is Bristol Rovers. So two home games now, Bristol Rovers and Wickham. I like to think there's no injuries what we picked up. Uh, players get fit, rested, um, and we move on to the Bristol Rovers game. Thanks for watching. As always, please like, subscribe and share. It means a lot. And leave your comments below. 
did we deserve to get out tight in it? Oh, we are man at match. Um, and would you make any changes for the game coming up? As always, you Reds. Thank <laughs> you.